From Pittsburgh's local hip hop scene to international stardom, Mac Miller's journey was one of evolution, creativity, and resilience. Let's dive into the story of Mac Miller, a beloved artist whose music continues to resonate with fans worldwide. Hey everyone, welcome back to IYLA T. Today we're exploring the incredible career of Malcolm James McCormick, better known as Mac Miller. From his early days in Pittsburgh to his lasting legacy, let's get started. Mac Miller, born on January 19, 1992 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, developed a passion for music early on. He began his career in Pittsburgh's local hip-hop scene in 2007 at the age of 15, performing under the name Easy Mac before eventually becoming Mac Miller. In 2010, Mac signed a record deal with the independent label Rostrum Records and released his breakthrough mixtapes KIDS, Kickin' Incredibly Dope Shit, and Best Day Ever in 2011. Mac's debut studio album, Blue Slide Park, was released on November 8, 2011. The album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart, making it the first independently distributed debut album to top the chart since 1995. The success of Blue Slide Park catapulted Mac into the mainstream, and he embarked on a nationwide tour connecting with fans across the country. In 2013, Mac released his second studio album, Watching Movies with the Sound Off, which received critical acclaim for its experimental sound and mature themes. That same year, he founded the record label imprint, Remember Music. After leaving Rostrum Records, Mac signed with Warner Brothers Records in 2014. With Warner Brothers, he released four studio albums, Good AM, 2015, The Divine Feminine, 2016, Swimming, 2018, and The Posthumous Circles, 2020. Good AM reflected Mac's efforts to overcome personal struggles, while The Divine Feminine explored themes of love and relationships. Swimming, released in 2018, was a reflection of Mac's ongoing battle with his demons and his journey towards self-discovery and healing. For Swimming, Mac was posthumously nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album, highlighting the impact of his music. Mac Miller passed away on September 7, 2018, at the age of 26, from an accidental drug overdose of cocaine, fentanyl, and alcohol. His struggles with addiction and substance abuse were often referenced in his lyrics, giving his music a profound sense of honesty and vulnerability. In January 2020, his family released Circles, a companion album to Swimming that Mac had been working on before his death. Circles was received with critical acclaim and further solidified Mac's enduring impact on the music industry. Mac Miller's career was a journey of artistic evolution marked by a relentless pursuit of growth and an unflinching honesty about his struggles. As a record producer under the pseudonym Larry Fisherman, he also contributed significantly to the music of other artists. Mac Miller's untimely death was a tragic loss, but his music continues to inspire and comfort millions around the world. Through his candid exploration of his own life, Mac created a connection with his listeners that transcends time. His honesty, vulnerability, and creative genius have left an indelible mark on the music industry, and his legacy will live on forever in the hearts of those who found solace and joy in his work. Thank you, Mac, for sharing your light with us. Thank you.